Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today for my second to last unanimous consent speech to answer a question I've been asked multiple times today. Am I running again? The answer, sadly, to that question is no. Sadly, it has become unaffordable to continue living in Amherst after the end of this term. I have loved my time in this house, and I love the work that we do. I have learned so much and met so many wonderful people. I would like to thank a few of them specifically. First, I would like to thank the chair of my committee, State Federal Relations and Veterans Affairs, the member from Londonderry, who is also not running again. He has served this house for the past 16 years and has run our committee with fairness and respect. I believe our committee is a shining example of how politics and committees should be. We can disagree without being disagreeable, and we can get a lot done while working together. With that, I would like to thank the member from Londonderry, who sadly is not here today, not only for his service to this house, but the service to our country. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank my ranking member, the member from Littleton, who has been like a mother to me in this house. She has offered guidance and advice, not that I always followed it, <laughs> but she is always someone I can count on, and she also makes delicious fudge, which she loves to share with fellow members of our committee. Next, I would like to thank the fellow independent in this house, the member from Newmarket, for becoming one of my best friends during my time here in the house. Although we only really got to know each other this year, she has always been there for me. There are countless others I would like to thank, but I'd be here all night. Finally, I would like to thank the 199 members of this house who voted to allow me to speak and shine light on the issues facing our state. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for a wonderful term. And remember that everybody here has a story, and there is a lot more than just party affiliation. Get to know members on both sides of the aisle, and remember, you can disagree without being disagreeable. Thank you. <laughs>